Hello guys, this is Junaid from The Finance Pro and in today's video, I will demonstrate how to create visually compelling dashboards in Excel without using any advanced tool. Let's have a look at the quick demo. Here we have a stacked bar chart showing different products over here along with their total sales. We have a pie chart over here on the left and here we have an area stacked chart that shows year-on-year -year sales comparison. Here we have a map along with uh, the name of uh, the country and the total sales. Well, it's changeable. Okay, now we have a funnel chart over here showing uh, the top performing countries on the top and the least on the bottom. Here we have another small uh, visualization. And uh, this is basically monthly profits from January to December. And uh, well, in enterprise segment, we are incurring a loss. However, in the government segment, we have a profit. Also, these key matrices are changing dynamically as I change the slicers. So if you like this dashboard, please give a thumbs up before watching the complete tutorial. So let's start with the data. You can download this sample file from the link given in the description below. So we have to select all the data and we have to make a pivot table for that uh, on a new sheet. Now let's first, you know, organize the data and then we'll make the charts simultaneously and then we'll arrange uh, them into a dashboard starting with the segment we have the segments and we have the total sales now as you can see uh, we don't want the numbers here we we want them in the percentage so we right click and show values as percentage of brand total okay so now we will go to pivot table analyze and rename this as segment now we'll use these names at the end when we will apply and link the slicers uh, with these pivot tables so just wait and watch okay so we will replicate it and now in this we will use the product instead of uh, sales and we will revert the sales as whole numbers also I want to see sales by year and I don't want to see the grand total so I can go to design and click okay so we have product and we have the year now let's just rename it to product sales okay now I want to see the sales by country so first I'll rename it country sales I'll remove the segment and I'll apply the country and I want to see the number of units instead of the total sale so and I want to sort uh, the sales by the highest to lowest so what I can do is go to sort highest to lowest means descending and descending in terms of number of units sold okay that's great so we have data for three tables now we need to add now we need to add data for year on year analysis so let's uh, make a replicate and rename it to y o y analysis for that we need months here instead of products and uh, we have the total sales okay that's great let's make the four graphs we were talking about first we'll make power chart so we go to analyze and empower chart and we need a pie chart in a donut shape okay let's just keep it uh, at the side 
now we need to see product wise sales so again we go to pivot table pivot chart and we go to bar chart and select the stack bar chart again we will keep these uh, for formatting now we have some data over here so let's create a funnel out of it okay now we have country wise uh, units sold we can do is uh, we can create a funnel let's see if it allows us to create a funnel no so we need to work around for for this graph so let's see if we can create a map with it insert map oh no you cannot even create a map with it so what 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 we can do is we can copy and paste it on the side and we can go to insert and insert a map we will again tweak this graph uh, at the end meanwhile we can what we can do is we can change our source here number of units here series values can be changed and uh, we can change the names of the countries from the pivot table now we can delete this data our graph is still working now and the last of the graphs is okay so we need to again make another data we need to create a funnel chart a, a funnel okay so again we will change the source similar to the one we did earlier what we need to do is we need to assemble these graphs now so the last graph we have is for the stack area and we will go and insert area chart with stacking and we have moved all the graphs to a new sheet so I will paste this graph here as well and we have something like this a rough dashboard huh okay so we can quickly format the graphs uh, we don't want these lines here and we want some labels so we will add data labels and for this also we need some data labels but you know amounts are 27 million and these are quite busy okay uh, let me just remove this so what we can do is we can change the units by clicking the axis and going to display units and we can display them in thousands or millions and that looks better and easy to understand we can also change the the colors of the of the graph and also by selecting the palette we can change the color of individual component i won't waste time changing the colors let me just uh, change the main elements okay in the in the pie chart i need to add some data legends as well and i also want to see the category i can change the design to my liking for example uh, okay this looks better and again i would i don't want this drop down menu so i can close it and i, I can even delete this uh, this legend um we can do some settings for stack chart as well we don't want these lines we again need to add some data labels and again we can change the um units to our liking i'll change it to this and it looks pretty not pretty now 
and again we can change the colors to our liking for for this area for the maps we can add the labels show all and we can only see the region that has the data looks better now and we can also change some colors from blue to this to this it looks pretty pretty neat now and we can again um, remove the titles Uh, here I don't want to see the axis instead I want to see the name of the countries inside uh, along with the label so uh, I'll, I'll click the plus icon and in data labels I'll go to more options and add a category and as a separator I will use new line so yeah so this looks uh, better now of course you can change the colors to your liking Okay, so this area of uh, the graph uh, composed of two shapes. Let me insert the shape now. Okay, so the first shape was uh, somewhat like uh, this, except it was a little distorted. So I'll go to edit shapes and I'll stretch it a bit. Yeah, like this okay then I can right click and fill it with any color I like and with the filling I can also use uh, the gradient it will make it you know shady more beautiful uh, attractive okay okay how do you put data inside this box how how can you make it dynamic so let's see now we have this uh, total number of, of units uh, we will link this total to an empty cell okay we have this number now we will link this cell with that shape and this is j9 okay so we will go here and in the in the uh, formula bar we will type is equals to j9 and you can see we have a number inside we have a number so this number represents and by the way this number is um, dynamic if there is a change in the pivot table due to slicer this number will change automatically now i want to write uh, a small sentence it is a uh, total units sold right now this number will change dynamically and the text will remain constant you can add another box any other key matrix you want to you want to add okay so the last thing was uh, let me just refer to the original dashboard was this small monthly profit and loss um, with the months at the at the end so how do I do this actually this is a spark line this is a spark line for the profits how do I how do I do it over here well first we need data for that so now using this data i will add a uh, spark line i will go here and i will merge these cells i'll select insert and we will insert column Re location range is the cell and the data is uh, well here and here we have it so how do we add the axis on the bottom for all the months again we have to merge it now we have to type the data manually January Jan, Jan, June July August September October November December okay and I can use uh, courier new because uh, it can evenly distribute your text and I will use a spacebar between all these alphabets and again I will tweak them by adding one or more it will look as if it's part of the spark line in the spark lines you can edit the color of highest points 
lowest points first and last so highest point I use the color blue and for the lowest points I use the color red and well you can um, change the colors as, as you like so this is all about the design over here the last thing that remains in our dashboard is the slicers so let's add the slicers so click anywhere on on any of the chart and uh, you will have the option of inserting slicers you can add segment you can add country or uh, quarters years okay so we have these four slicers and we can arrange them to our liking we don't want to see data that has no value so hide items with no data and for quarters we will again use two columns so the last thing is to create links to the pivot tables so I'll go to slicer and I'll cl click report connections now I have the option of linking the the names the the pivot table it's easy to identify with the names of the tables we assign okay so when I click this it automatically changes the data in this pivot table and because the charts are linked with this pivot table they are changing dynamically okay a segment is not linked so well uh, let's link it to graphs and as you can see the data is changing dynamically uh, by the way you can also change the color of your slicer and uh, by modifying this uh, these settings inside to your liking so that was all about today's video I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new if you really like the video please hit the like button if you haven't already and subscribe my channel thank you for watching